Welcome back to my channel friends. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing y'all along with us as we go out to do some antiquing. We're going to be going to two different big antique malls and browsing through to see what treasures we can find. So I can't wait to bring y'all along and let's head into the first one. Right away, this beautiful mustard colored antique bench got my attention. It was $142 and such a beautiful, unique piece. I love the color of it and the tufting on it and the pretty antique wood frame. It was just so, so beautiful. And then look at these huge rolling pins. It's not showing up on camera how big they were in person, but they were huge and just so unique i've never seen any rolling pins that big and then i had to get a clip of one of the most beautiful pictures i've ever seen it was 125 dollars the frame and the beautiful picture itself just all of it was absolutely captivating it was just gorgeous and then i came across some of these plates at first i thought that they were the ones I was looking for. They have a really similar style, but these are a different type of ironstone. I shared a picture of the stamp on the back, but they were so gorgeous and I love how they had them displayed on this hutch. This was the only round coffee table I spotted on our whole thrifting trip, so I wanted to get a clip of it, but it is still a little bit too oval for what I need. It would still be a little bit too big for the space, but I did really love the marble top. And then I thought that this table right here was another really awesome option for if you have a small kitchen space. Um, if I hadn't already found the one that I recently got for our kitchen, that small little table, that would have also been a really good option. Um, and it would be really cute redone. And then I love, love, loved this little vintage wicker stroller. Nobody's losing. Faces merchant change. But your face remains the same. Oh my goodness. Yes. In this booth, as you saw, I did find some of the Johnson Brothers coaching scene plates. And then they also had a ton of these Liberty Blue Ironstone plates as well. They had the saucers, one large dinner plate, and then some of the little teacups to go with this set. So I was super excited to see those. And I did end up bringing some of these home so stay tuned to see which ones from this booth Next, I spotted this super gorgeous copper tea kettle. I love when the copper kettles have brass accents on them. So like the handle and the spout were both brass and it was like a hammered copper look. So pretty, it was $16 and definitely a gorgeous piece. And then look at this beautiful painting. This was definitely hand painted by someone. It was a beautiful winter scene for $10. This was definitely the antique trip of blue and white dishes. Y'all will see this is only the beginning. I found so many, so many Ironstone, Johnson Brothers, blue and white printed dishes, all different 
styles and prints of them. I even spotted some more of these um, coaching scene plates in one of the next booths and these were seven dollars each so I'm super happy that I scored the first ones for $2.99 each and then look at this teapot oh my goodness this is the Churchill England teapot and it was $35 and just such a stunning piece I loved that and then on to a few of the next booths I spotted a really large beautiful ironstone platter and pitcher that I just of course absolutely loved and then I turned around the corner and y'all will never believe what I spotted next all of this English village ironstone I mean a huge stack of bowls and saucers and salad plates dinner plates I mean everything I could not believe it I'm still literally just in shock and the reason that we actually ended up going to this antique mall on this day is because um, my parents asked us if we wanted to go out to eat at one of my dad's favorite barbecue restaurants they just opened a new barbecue restaurant in this town and it's one of his favorites and they haven't had one in our area for so long so it was quite a drive it was about an hour to get there and if it wasn't for them inviting us to go to that and us having lunch together we would have never went into this antique mall <laughs> my mom was like give me your camera i've got to film this because i was freaking out and so i was just going through and deciding which ones that i wanted how many of each that i wanted um, i definitely left some behind for someone else to find and enjoy because i definitely didn't need all of them but i'm just so thankful we decided to run into this antique mall after we ate lunch this day okay friends i'm back home now and i cannot wait to share with you what i picked up at the antique mall today if you watched through the shop with me portion then you already saw a super exciting sneak peek at what i found the first thing that i found are my beautiful english village dishes i now have an entire set of them i literally am speechless i'm blown away i cannot believe it um literally like a week after i mentioned in that video that these are the plates that i was hunting for and i have been looking for them for months and months and months so long and literally right after i share with you all the set that i was looking for there it is at the antique mall. I could not believe it. I literally ran to them. As soon as I saw the blue, I knew I could see the floral design. I knew what they were. I just, I could not believe how many that they had. They had a huge stack of bowls, a huge stack of saucers. Unfortunately, there was only three of the large plates, but that is perfectly fine. I'm so thankful to at least have found three of them. And now I will just keep an eye out for one more because uh, I would like to have at least a set of four. But for now, I'm so thankful to have these three full size plates. I mean, I thought that the little ones were beautiful. So I already owned two of these little um, saucer sized ones. And I just was blown away at how gorgeous that they are and then after seeing the big ones I mean they are just breathtaking I just love these more than I've ever loved any dish I just cannot get over them even my husband loves them I have set our little, new little um kitchen table with them that I have our little um bistro table and he walked past them the other day and he was like those really are beautiful plates I love that he loves old things like I do um, and old dishes and things but look at the beautiful scene on these this one literally I don't know I guess I didn't notice it on the small one because it's so tiny but on the big one you can see um, the little wife here in her apron and there's three little chickens surrounding her and she's standing in front of their little cottage with a pretty river and a bridge in front of it. And then there's flowers and trees and clouds. It is just seriously, like I keep saying, breathtaking. I love these dishes so, so much. And I just can't believe I found them. So this is the stamp on the back. I'll share with you all it again, because I had a few questions on what exactly it was called. This set is called English Village Ironstone. So the big plates were $6.99 each. Like I said, I got three of those because that's all that they had. And then I got four 
of the um, small dessert plate ones. Four of those and then I also grabbed four of the little bowls and that is my whole set now. And then after I spotted those, I came across more of these um, coaching scene Johnson Brother Ironstone dishes. So I also picked up four more of these. Um, they had four, so I just decided to go ahead and get all four. These are, like I said, the coaching scenes, hunting country dishes. And just look at this scene on that. Oh my goodness. Have you seen anything so beautiful? So these were $2.99 each. I forgot to mention the English Village saucers were also $2.99 each and the bowls were $2.99 each. And then the plates, like I said, were $6.99 each. I don't know if that is a good price or not, but I thought it was a really good price because they are such rare dishes and I never dreamed that I would be able to find them for that affordable. So I was happy with that price and um, think it was totally worth it. So these coaching scene ones were also $2.99 each for this size and they were in two completely different booths by different people so that's crazy that they were the same price but I was super happy um, to get these for $2.99 each as well. I just love the little stagecoach and the horses so beautiful and these just um are gonna be in our home for years to come and I'm so excited to get so much use out of these. I will insert some clips of what these look like um, displayed on our table. I did um, a little arrangement with these and then some of my restaurant wear that I have, some of the buffalo china dishes that I have. I kind of layered them so it would be like um, the big plates and then the white ones and then these little saucers would really pop. Um, so. I will insert some clips of that and share with you what they look like. And now I will share with you the next thing that I found at the antique mall and the last thing that I found. It has just been a month of finding gold framed pieces because I found another one, another gold framed mirror that I cannot even describe my excitement for. This is going to look so good in my um, little beauty room area and my office area. I have um like my little vanity in there where I get ready at and I just think this is going to be the perfect piece to add into there look at this beautiful frame um it is this huge vintage gold framed oval mirror and I'm gonna hang it up in there and I will share with you all what it looks like for now um I might eventually move it to a different spot but that is just where I um, like it at for now but it was originally marked at $22 and then it was discounted down to 18 so only $18 for this it is huge and I'm so excited about it so such a unique piece and again something that I will just be able to use in years or four years in so many different spaces I love finding unique high quality good made items i mean they just don't make pieces like this anymore and things that i know are gonna last for so many years and bring us joy for so long so very excited about that piece and the lady that i bought it from um she was actually there and she was telling me a little bit of history behind this mirror and they she said that they had actually had that hanging in their hallway for over 20 years and she was like i hope that y'all enjoyed as much as we did because we have loved that mirror for over 20 years it's been hanging in our hallway and i hope y'all enjoyed as much as we have and just knowing like where it came from and um the story behind it and the family that it came from that was really special too um and now we'll get to enjoy it in our home so that is everything that i found today again i'm going to insert a clip of um the dishes and the mirror and i hope you enjoyed coming along and taking with us today thank you so much for being here and for watching and make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already i would love for you to join us here on my channel i'm starting my fall videos at the end of this month the end of august and i cannot wait for that i'm so excited for all the fall decorating and i'm hoping to bring y'all some early ideas to help inspire you and um give you ideas for the seasons so stay tuned for all of that and i will see you all in my very next video bye friends <music>
So this is what I decided to do. I put the large one and then I layered one of my Buffalo China saucers right there just to kind of divide the patterns up a little bit and make this one pop and stand out a little bit more just to add a layer in between and I just love it so much. It still doesn't even feel real. I literally cannot believe that I found these this weekend. How crazy is that? And then here is the other side.